Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the case where infinite number of optimal solutions are present for a linear programming problem which is LPP. In previous video, we learned about the case with definite and unique optimal solution of a LPP using graphical method. If you haven't watched that video, the link is in description below. The LPP can be solved using graphical method for two number of variables or simplex method for more number of variables. There are five possible solutions of a LPP. In this video, we will learn about the infinite number of optimal solution. Let's revisit the steps to solve LPP using graphical method. Step 1 is to consider each constraint as an equation and graph them. Step 2 is to find feasible region for each constraint. Step 3 is to find common feasible region. Step 4 is to find extreme points on these common feasible region. Now step 5 is to calculate objective function value at these extreme points and finally conclude the results. Now we will learn about the infinite number of optimal solution. Is it possible? And if yes, how? Let's understand this by a small example. The objective function is to maximization of the z which is equals to 6x plus 15y subject to two constraints. First constraint is 5x plus 3y less than equals to 15 and the second constraint is 2x plus 5y less than equals to 10. Both the variables should be positive so x comma y is greater than equals to 0. It is also called non-negativity constraint. Let's go step by step. Step 1 is to consider each constraint as an equation and graph them. First constraint is 5x plus 3y less than equals to 15 and if we consider it as an equation it will be 5x plus 3y equals to 15. To draw this equation we will need two points on the graph. These points can be obtained by putting any value of one variable in the equation and obtaining the other variable. Let's put x equals to 0 in the equation and solve the value of y. We will obtain y equals to 5. So the first point is 0 comma 5. Now put y equals to 0 and solve for x and we will get x equals to 3 so the second point is 3 comma 0. Now we can draw a line connecting these two points which you can see on the screen. Now consider the second equation which is 2x plus 5y equals to 10 with respect to the constraint 2x plus 5y less than equals to 10. If we put x equals to 0 y will be 2 so the first point is 0 comma 2 and if we put y equals to 0 the x will be 5 and we get the second point which is 5 comma 0 and we can draw a line connecting these two points as well. Now step 2 is to find feasible region for each constraint. First constraint is 5x plus 3y less than equals to 15. To obtain the feasible region for this constraint we have to consider a point on one side of the line representing this constraint. Let's the point is 0 comma 0. Put the value of x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 of this point in the constraint. We obtain 0 plus 0 less than equals to 15 which satisfies the constraint so the feasible region for this first constraint will be the region from the line towards this point. It is restricted by non negativity constraint on the variables and shown in the color red. The second constraint is 2x plus 5y less than equals to 10. Similarly we can consider a point on either side of the line representing this constraint. General practice is to choose point 0 comma 0 we put x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 of this point in the constraint we obtain 0 plus 0 less than equals to 10 and it satisfies the constraint as well. So the feasible region for second constraint will be the region from the line towards this point 0 comma 0. It is shown in blue color. Now we can see the feasible region of both the constraints. Now step 3 is to find the common feasible region. It will be the region where all the constraints are satisfied. The common feasible region is shown on the screen. Step 4 is to find extreme points of common feasible region. As you can see, there are 4 extreme points on the region. Point A, B and D are already known. A is at 0, 0, B is at 3, 0 and point D is at 0, 2. Point C is the intersection of the both lines. It can be obtained by solving equation of the both constraints. The equations are 5x plus 3y equals to 15 and 2x plus 5y equals to 10 by multiplying first equation by 2 and second equation by 15 we obtain equation 1 and 2. Subtract 1 from 2 we get 19y equals to 20 which gives y equals to 20 by 19 which is equals to 1.05 and if we put the value of y in any of the above equations we get x equals to 2.36. So we obtain the point number c which is 2.36 comma 1.05. Now step 5 is to calculate the objective function value at these four extreme points. The objective function is z equals to 6x plus 15y. By putting the value of x and y for these four points we get value of z at point a is 0, 
at point B it is 18, at point C it is 30 and at point D it is 30 as well. Step 6 is to conclude the result. With the maximization objective, the value of Z equals to 30 is the maximum at point C and D. This implies that the value of objective function Z is maximum and equals to 30 on every point on the line connecting point C and D. Hence, we get infinite number of optimal solution on the edge of feasible region along the line C and D. The value of variables X and Y will be optimal and can be anything along the every point on line CD with the objective function value of Z equals to 30. That's all for this video. Was the next video for unbounded solution case. Like if you learn about the infinite number of solution for a LPP. Comment about the other mathematical programs which you want to learn. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Share this video with your friends. Thank you.